production of scale. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> so, so, I was, it was a, I just got out of a big debate, man. And I'm trying to say that you do not have to be water baptized to go to, uh, to that. But people showing me a scripture that says that if a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. So my thing is this, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really be knowing like a lot like that. Mm-hmm. So they asked me, what do they mean by the water then? And I, and I can't answer that because I don't know exactly. Mm-hmm. But I guess anybody would say it will be common sense that the water will mean water baptism. Well, that's what people would say, but the Bible doesn't say that. Again, you got to go precept upon precept, line upon line. So remember, this flesh, nothing profited, as it tells us, the uh, the, the uh, nothing. Uh, uh, the, the basically the flesh is not no profit in the flesh. So baptizing the water, the, the flesh has no, no profit at all for our eternal life. Everything that's seen is 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 a uh, Temporal. Everything that's not seen is eternal. All right. So, what is this water? All right. So, if you go to the very next chapter, and so you're in John three. So, if you go to John chapter four, all right. Jesus is talking to the woman at the well, and there's water in the well. All right. And so, in four seven says, "There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water." Jesus saith unto her, "Give me to drink." For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, remember it's always a gift of God, and who it is that saith unto thee, if she knew thee, <laughs> That he is that gift of God, Jesus, the Son of God, who's God in the flesh. Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Oh, so he's he's showing that the water in the well is less earthly water. The water that Jesus gives, the gift of God, is the living water. Oh, how you born again, living water? Living water. So what is this living water? If you go down further, in 14 it says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Oh, well, remember, anything that's seen is not eternal. Anything that's unseen is eternal. So if never thirst, then it must be a spiritual water. It must be... But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So guess what? Eternal life is in Jesus. So if you go to John 7, it defines what this is. In John chapter 7, 37, in the last days, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If a man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, and they say but repentance or water baptism, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So there you go. He's already referencing the scriptures. Uh, we just read that in John um, 4. And then 39 says, but this spake he of the Spirit. Which what, they, John 39? John seven thirty nine. See, he's defining what the rivers of living water is. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. See, when you believe, you receive the Spirit, the living water. That's the water, the living water, the eternal water, the Spirit. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. So then if you go back to John 3, so now you have an understanding that Jesus gives living water, which is everlasting, spring up into everlasting life. Now you see what it's saying. 
Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be, be born, again, when you're something be, you can't born yourself, it happens to you. Well, how do you get be born of water and of the Spirit? So he's talking about his living water, not water baptism. It doesn't say born of baptism, so first of all. So they cannot, they can't put baptism there because it doesn't, it's not talking about baptism. It's talking about living water. All right? Being born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So he's letting you know that he's talking of the spirit and not of the flesh. So that's what that water is. It's the living water because Jesus says the water that I shall give him. So God, Jesus doesn't give the water from the well. He gives the, the living water. So that's the precept that, you know, when he baptizes, he baptizes with the Holy Ghost. He doesn't baptize with water. And when he gives living, when he gives water, he gives living water, which is the spirit. He doesn't give physical water. That's okay, so so basically all of this is in John chapter 4, everything, or just John, period? Or? Yeah, the whole book of John. I mean, this is all John. So in John 4, um, I'll give you the exact verse 410 through 14, and, and John 7, where is it at? Seven thirty-seven through 39. That answers the question of what is this water that Jesus is talking about. It's the living water. God gives life. God is the God of the living. Regular water is not living. But the water that God <laughs> shall give you shall be living water. See? God gives life. That's the only way you can be born again. See? So it doesn't oh. say baptism there. So it says water. So people jump on that and say water baptism. So they add baptism. Or if it says baptism and doesn't say water, they'll add water. Oh, it means water baptism. No, that's why you can write so the Bible word and wrong. That's why I'm saying. I look at it like this: If you say, if a person was to say that, um, if a person was to say that. Oh, so so okay. Where in the Bible where it says that you believe and you shall be saved? Where is that at? Acts sixteen thirty and thirty one. Acts sixteen thirty and thirty one. Acts sixteen thirty and thirty one. Okay, well, this is my thing. I look at it like this: if a person was to say that you have to be water bat okay so when they say or and and you shall be saved but you and another person say that well you have to be water baptized that means you calling Jesus a liar because right. or yeah, you saying okay. that you can, or that mean that you saying that he confused himself or you saying that Thank he he don't know how to, he not powerful enough to say everything at one time yeah exactly God is not the author of confusion. So guess who's saying that? That's Satan. And you're calling him a liar. Because if God is saying, you shall be saved if you believe, then, then that's a direct statement. Says, right, but, and then you turn around and say that his statement was... Was not complete, basically. Right. No, you have like, to wait a minute. Water, no, so you no, no. A but... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's the problem. People don't like that statement. I take them there all the time. And it's in their love, beloved book of Acts. That they love to go to. So it destroys a lot of them. So they just avoid it. They ignore it. They say, no, that's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough to just believe. Yeah, so you and you know, I've been, liar. <laughs> and I've been talking, and I've been, and I've been talking to you, and I've been trying to talk to other, other people, but mm -hmm. they say, oh, you just listening to people. I'm like, well, the thing about it is everything this person is saying is in the Bible. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, don't it's not me. like, I'm pointing it's, it's to the scripture. Not, <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. You just. You know what I'm saying. It's not like you're saying, "Well, believe what I'm saying and don't read the book." You. You don't even talk without going to the Bible. <laughs> That's true. I try to practice that, man, because it's not. It's you not what, what I say. Yeah. And the the other thing is, these people are going to talk and tell you what a scripture says, and they'll probably read part of the scripture. I try to read at least at least three verses so you can get a, the context. If not the whole chapter, but I'm just saying, and you're right. If it clearly says 
what must I do to be saved? And it says, and then they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So if it's saying that clearly, then that's what it's saying. That's not, that's not the only verse that says that. In Romans 10, 9, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I mean, that's very clear. It says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you believe from the heart. So when you believe from the heart, you're going to confess Jesus. All right? You're saved <laughs> because you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection. That's what we preach. So that's Romans 10.9. All right? And then, in, I mean, the most popular Bible verse, John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so that's a promise that's a that's a bold statement who whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life that's that's a bold statement there's no there's many bold statements in scripture i mean have you ever uh been baptized you've been baptized right yeah, like I said, I grew up in a Baptist church, so as a, as a child, that's what my parents taught me to do, so I did it. Um, okay, so... That, that has nothing to do with my salvation at all. Even then, when I got baptized, it wasn't. It was because I was saved. It had nothing to do with salvation. I've never believed in water baptism that, for that, salvation. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing wrong with being baptized. It's not saying that it's wrong... Being baptized, the issue is you saying that you got to do that to go to heaven. That's the problem. Well, that's the main problem. The second problem is Christ sent Paul not to baptize. So if Paul is not not sent to baptize, it's not something that we need to do. Um, and uh, it's, if Paul were to do it after God sent him to it and he was doing that, he would have offered confusion, and he would have went against God. So it would have been bad. And he did it in the Acts as he was learning, and and uh, one, yeah, it was a transitionary book. And then one, after that, he said, "Hey, I only did three, you know, baptized, you know, basically three people and, and a family. After the, above that, he knows of no one else that he's baptized because." You know, he was learning. I mean, he, he went from being a Jew to learning, you know, directly from Jesus over a period of three years in the mountain of his ministry. So, and, you know, and, and I was just thinking to myself that usually a person that's saying what you're saying is usually a person that don't have a religion. You realize that the people that do have a religion, they, be, they believe something that is a... Uh, mm-hmm. Like Je- Jehovah Witness is a, be- mm-hmm. uh, is a religion, Catholics is a religion. Mm-hmm. You realize that the only because I know somebody else that say what you say it's, it's a female. She got her YouTube thing and everything. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, she don't go live and stuff like you. But she just go on there and talk. And it's like she just she just Christian. I guess she'll say that. Like she say, I guess you'll say that I'm a, I have a religion as being Christian. But she was just saying that she don't. And that's because of the following of Christ. But other than like like Jehovah Witnesses, like religions, like other stuff like that, you realize that everybody go by Catholics believe that it's the Trinity, it's three people, and Jehovah Witnesses believe that uh, Jesus is not the Son of God, and mm-hmm. you realize that. But the people, the people that say like go straight to the Scripture and let's read exactly what it say, those are the people that don't have a religion. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would just say, man, don't worry about other people. Just worry about what you truly believe, man. I know, I, I know you know the truth. You're just seeking to find out how you can support it in Scripture, and I appreciate that. You know, so that's why I give you. The yeah, because I'm about so to look at all this. Too. I'm looking yeah. at all this now. So next time I'm in that type of debate, I would say, well, this is what the water is. And they say, well, tell me. What do the water mean? I'm like, I don't know what it means, but I know that I could say something, whatever. But I don't know exactly about the water. Like exactly, water is bat, water back to the tub. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the water. So it's like it just no, that's not the water. I mean, and um, they didn't even have tubs back then. Um, John baptized in the uh, 
in the open water. And I guess it may have been a lake or something like that. It wasn't like it was a, a so, baptismal so, tub. But, so, um, hmm? so, so basically, and then when it comes down to repentance, so let me, let me, let me say this. So if I, so, you know, see if I'm saying this right on my behalf. Now, um, repent. Does repent means that so basically if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ genuinely you repent it. That that is repentance. No right? belief no, belief and repentance are two different things. Yeah. Okay. So belief is from the heart. Repentance is from the mind. Those are two different areas. So oh, okay. once you believe from the heart God will give you the understanding in your mind. He will okay. give you the repentance. Yeah. Okay. But the way that the world look at it, repentance don't mean that once you repent, all your sins is away. Yeah, well, the Bible never says repent from your sins. So the world messes it up, man. I'm telling you, that's the doctrine of devils. Um, it doesn't say that. It's talking to Israel about repentance. And Peter's the one preaching repentance to the Jews. The Jewish Christians or Israel. He, he's not dealing with. He's he's not. Um, Paul never preached repentance. Uh, I know they always try to go to. Uh, um, um, where's that at in Acts 19? He was talking about from repent of the ignorance. He's God is going to bring all men unto repentance. He was talking about of the ignorance because they worship the unknown God. And God is going to be the one to bring you there. You 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 can't do that. So it's just a, you know. So it's in the mind. So just think of this: repentance is of the mind, belief is of the heart. Those are two separate things. So belief is genuinely within your heart, and repentance yes. is what what Jesus put in your mind because of what was in your heart. Yes, thank you. Because when you truly believe God, He gives you the your repentance. He gives you the understanding. He gives you the the uh, faith. Like I feel that I'm trying to understand. I feel like the yes. fact that God feel that that genuine belief, He's giving me an understanding to understand. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's exactly it. Because you believe Him. I really do. Amen. And I can hear that. I mean, I already know that from our first call. So I mean, and that's why you know I want to point you to the scripture. So he, you know, you can get that understanding, and when you see it in Scripture, God will reveal it, and open up your eyes, and open up your understanding, and you're like, oh, that's what it is. Um, and then the debate kind of stuff, you know, I I do them sometimes just for other people to learn, but God doesn't want us to debate. I mean, Paul will go out there and uh, you know debate in the streets, so it's not what we really want to do. We really want to spend our time preaching. I want to talk to people that want to hear the gospel, want to hear the word. So, uh, the other people, I'll face them. It says after the first or second admonition, reject them. So, I'm not debating with them for a long time. I'll talk to them once or twice, and then that's it. So, I don't have time to deal with, you know, arguing with people. God doesn't want us arguing. He wants us preaching. You know, so. It yeah, so helps what's strengthen, a, what's a, what strengthen your understanding. It's going to help what, you. Mm -hmm. What What, like. What do you go? Because I gotta, I gotta get this app so I can have the the King James version. What app do you use? Like you got anything on your phone so I can? Yeah. Well, like I said, the free one is uh, BibleGateway.com. The other one that I use, like I paid, I think I don't know, five dollars for it was um, eSword. But hold on one second. What's going on, man? Oh yeah, yeah. No, oh, you were knocking on the door. Oh wow! Okay, I'm a, I'm in the office in, in, in the front office. I'll come get you. All
Okay, sorry about that. That's a lot, my guy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, what were you saying? Yeah, duh. Yeah, so that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So at least I got that down pat that the belief was in the heart and the repentance was in the mind. And and everybody think that it's all about the sins when Jesus, that's what Jesus already did for us. Yeah. Well, that's what the scripture says because in 10, Romans 10, 10, it says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So God is telling us in the scripture, you believe from the heart, and that's how you become righteous before God. It's not your works. It's not, it's, it's not water baptism. So you, when you say work, works mean what you do? Yes, works is anything that you do. There's works of faith. There's works of, of righteousness. There's works, you know, there's many works. Oh, okay. so, 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 so water baptism will be considered as works? Yes. Exactly. It's something you do. You can boast and you can say, I got water baptized, so I should go to heaven. <laughs> That's what the guy was saying I was talking to. Oh, I got I got baptized under the name of Jesus. You're under the, he said something about, um, I know that the doctrine of the Baptist, and you got baptized under the wrong baptism, so you won't qualify. So it's all about what you what he did. You know what I'm saying? It's all about his works, and he's believing in works, and he's going to fall under the Matthew uh, 7 people. And this is what it says. Um, He says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So we do have to do something. What must I do to be saved? believe on the Lord. That's what we must do. So the will of the Father is to, is to believe on Jesus. And now we'll look at that in, in John 6. But it says, But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? That's a work. And in thy name cast out many devil, cast out devils? That's a work. And in thy name done many wonderful works. These people that believe in works, what is God going to tell them? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Our works are iniquity to God. Our works do not please God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. He's relying on his works. I'm relying on Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Yeah. If you look oh. at John six, we'll I just gotta pull that up. Um then just G six C thirty two. Oh wait. Uh where am I at? I always come down from heaven. It gives a lie. Okay, come up. Oh, let me go up to six uh Alright. Alright, six thirty nine, and this is the Father's will which have sent me, that all of which he have given me I should lose nothing. So he's eternally secure in Jesus, but should raise it up again at the last day, so we will be raised up. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one that seeth the Son and believeth on him, and say, and is baptized, may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. It doesn't say water baptism. It doesn't say baptized. It doesn't say repentance. Believe on him. Believe on him. There's many scriptures. I can go through many of the scriptures. And it's all about belief on Jesus Christ. That's it. Because that's what it says. That's what it says. So that's all we're going to preach, and that's all I'm going to believe, man. And, uh, you know, I was saying these things are good because it's challenging you to search the Scriptures so you can get a better understanding of what you believe so you can tell somebody. So don't, yeah, don't shy and, away and, from it. Yeah, yeah and, th- and this is what I'm learning because, you know, I'm really, really starting to really get into this. But this is what I had realized. Like, you can read something 
but that still don't mean you necessarily no. You gotta actually uh <laughs> you gotta take your time. Yeah. You gotta take your you gotta take your time on what you read. That's like if I was a car from out of nowhere and I see that you must repent and be baptized. Now you can take this out of content. You gotta take your time on what come before, what came after, you gotta read the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You got you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's actually, you got to read, but it's actually deeper than reading because when you read, and that means you just saw something. You could just read what just you saw. You got to study. Study to show thyself approved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. But yeah, man, I ain't going to keep you too long, man. I'm about to keep it going over here. I just, right. you know. You no know. Worries. I'll give you a call, boss man. All right, man. Good talk with you. How do you say? Is it Neo or Ni- Nino? How do you say your, yeah. your correct name? It's it's Nino N I N O. Nino. Okay. All right. Cool. I've been calling you Neo. Yeah, you, yeah that was cool because you know you my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, All right Nino. <laughs> All right. Yep. Bye.